Soon afterwards, King Ahasuerus appointed Haman as Prime Minister, and all the king's officials bowed before him in deep reverence whenever he passed by, for so the king had commanded. But Mordecai refused to bow as he was a Jew. You will bow down to me, Mordecai. I will do no such thing. You will. I'm the Prime Minister. Come on, isn't this part of the script? Do something. Okay, how about this? If he refuses to submit, then we'll just throw him in jail. What? Just throw him in jail? That is not enough. Just kill him. If he doesn't submit, he rebels. And we also need to kill his whole family. And by extension, his whole race before they rebel too. That's just too extreme. All Jews must die. Just kill them. All Jews are rebels. That's just racist. Come on, just do it. Just let him do what he wants. He's just part of the grand plan. Haman was furious, but decided not to lay hands on Mordecai alone, but to move against all of Mordecai's people, the Jews, and destroy all of them throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus. Haman approached the king about the matter, accusing the Jews of refusing to obey the king's laws and persuaded the king to issue a decree that they be destroyed. The king agreed, confirming his decisions by removing his ring from his finger and giving it to Haman, telling him to do whatever he thinks best. <laughs> 